Hey everybody, Garrison here. Today we are going to try to put together, I shouldn't say we're trying to put together, but we're trying to play and probably change a couple of cards out of some different things for a deck that uh, somebody made a suggestion and it was really funny because I had wanted to play um, with Fall of the Thran for a while. So, uh, and somebody made the, the, uh, the thought that, you know, Fall of the Thran, you know, winning with Kaya was pretty cool if you could figure out a way to exile everything. And, of course, Layla on a Void does exactly that. So, M20 brought along, uh, one extra piece. So, we put some Ashiox in here just in case we don't hit the Layla on the Void. But, um, this is kind of the way that came out. Uh, Mending and Dominaria just to kind of... Uh, help ourselves like when we follow the Thran the fact that you're only gonna get four back Then I need to help uh, bring all the rest of our lands back and then uh, we just need it up to like not die <laughs> um, Hence the uh, the rest of the cards deck. So uh, we will go over the deck here real quick We've got uh, four arboreal grazer kind of try to help us uh, Ramp up just a little bit. So there's not a lot um, uh, Not a lot of big cheap creatures so the zero three actually helps to block and maybe give us something uh uh stay up dying from like the two ones that are out there that are very relevant uh we have three vitalize just try to draw a couple cards gain some life uh four cast downs uh trying to kill everything the problem we do have is running into things like uh uh what do i want to say uh, rekindling phoenix um unfortunately it's not restless contempt so we do just have to kind of kill it the one time and hope that maybe that temples us up into uh, uh, a win somehow. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that's going to happen, <laughs> but uh, maybe we cast the cast down and cry the Carnarium with the token or something. But then uh, to go along with the exile theme here to win with the Kaya, we have uh, three ca Cry of the Carnarium. So getting rid of the little things and then the Arboreal Grazer does live through the Cry, which is very nice. And then we have four Kaya Orzlov Usurper, uh, four Ashiok Dream Render, uh, which actually is really good right now. Um, just the simple fact that there's a lot of decks playing search effects. One of the big ones being Scape Shift. Obviously, when I'm playing it, Ashiok does a very good job of stocking, stopping your opponent from being able to do that until they can, in fact, kill the Ashiok. At that point, I don't think we even, uh, we don't even think minus them. So then we have four Leyland of the Void. Uh, which just does a simple thing. We were hoping to have a Leyland in our opening hand, which is why we're playing all four. And then uh, start that with the battlefield so that everything that just dies immediately goes into the exile zone. Hopefully, so we only have to tick Kaya up a couple of times, and then uh, we can immediately minus it and win the game. Then we have two Ritual Soot. Again, just trying to keep the board clear. Uh, three Cleansing Nova for that same fact. And then two Mending of Dominaria to bring back our lands that we kill with the two Fall of the Thran. So the biggest way, that I guess the fastest way to do this is the fact to keep the board clear with all of our board wipes and then follow the Thran into a Kaya. Uh, hopefully we have, you know, a Leyline on the battlefield or an Ashiok on the battlefield if we don't have that. Uh, wipe out their mana base. Uh, hopefully they don't have any cards. Maybe we get an Insta Scoop because they realize that they can't beat that. So and then we have, uh, over here we have two planes, four swamps, a forest, two godless shrines, two isolated chapels, one temple of silence. Four overgrown tombs, a temple of malady, four woodland cemeteries, two sun petal groves, and two temple gardens. I don't know if the mana base is 100% correct. We kind of threw this together. Um, I could probably swap out black as kind of the biggest cover. So I think this might be right. Um, somebody else can do the math. I don't really care. I kind of threw it together. <laughs> so uh, just kind of something to, to play. Uh, really hoping that uh, things work out really well. So some other things that uh, I guess could be some, you know, super beneficial for us are uh, like some walls. And although I'm not sure, the biggest wall we have is a 0-4 and it's blue. So that really won't work. Um, although there may be some like 0-5s or 0-6s or zero zero sixes that are like 2 mana. Uh, but we really don't want to be doing that. Uh, this is a horrible hand. This is not so great, but we're going to keep it. Uh, chuck one of the ley lines back, because we don't need that. I can't kiss the mending yet, but... 
Let's see how it plays out. Of course, draw some lands. We were hoping for some removal. Look at that. They were afraid of the Leyland of the Void and just immediately scooped. Just scared. Got them running. All right, let's see. Let's see if we see if we can do this again. I think the concept is cool. It does just take a lot of cards to kind of get things rolling. Um, not a hundred percent sure that we can make this really work. Uh, I have a feeling we're either going to draw too many lands, or we're going to flood, or we're going to starve. Um, there's not really a happy medium here, so we need to be at like six for the fall of the thram. And most of our spells are 2-3. So, we're going to keep this because we have the cast downs. Hopefully we draw into an Ashiak. And we have the Ley Lines, so let's see what we get here. Maybe this opponent's just scared of the Ley Line as well. Sim simple as that. I doubt it, though, because they're mono red. So, we were probably going to get... Uh, we're gonna get owned here. It's gonna be my guess. So there's our black. We're gonna go ahead and start out with this overgrown tomb. So we know we're going to Sepinal Grove and then Isolated Chapel. And I play their Steam Can. Oh, this is not traditional mono red. Uh, Scorch Spitter seems kind of odd. Leyline of the Void, which isn't very good. So we're gonna play the Sun Petal Grove. Uh, actually, I think we want. We're gonna stop it next combat. We're probably gonna cast on a Scorch Spitter, just because this thing is gonna do so much for it against us. Do we, do we want to kill a Scorch Spitter? I mean, it's two damage. Uh, I, I guess we could take two. And we'll see what they... We're going to kill something at the end of this turn anyway. So, yeah, okay. Sorry, we're just going to kill the this, this Spitfire. That's fine. The Scorch Spitter probably represents more. Uh, so... We'll take one more hit. Cast down whatever big thing they play. And then cry away everything else. So another Spitfire, that's fine. If they play another one drop, this is gonna be great. Uh, let's see what they got. Ooh, that's pretty good. So let's cry this board away. So we have the Cleansing Nova. You're on another land. Looks like your opponent's kind of flooding. Ooh, it'd have been nice if they'd have played that last turn. So we need to draw a land here. Oh, if we don't draw a land, we're going to play, I think, so two, three, four, five, go to six. I think we are going to play Ashok and uh, bait them into attacking. Welcome to my world. Behold, my epilogue of fear. So, got rid of a Cranko. So, this is probably a Cavalcade deck. And they are not, does not look like they're going to bait into that. So either they've got burn in their hand, or they're just going to play big dude. Uh, let's save, we want to save, we want to save the Nova, I think. So we're going to cry away. And then, so we're cranking up there. We just have to live long enough, I guess. Yeah, so this is a cavalcade deck. Okay. Uh, I leave you we're getting full. Last Actually, so do... Uh, yeah, we'll just... We'll hold the... Uh, the Nova. So the cavalcade kind of be a problem if they have creatures with haste, but... That will answer that for us. So now we just need to draw a Kaya. And hopefully we can make this thing work. Let's 
Let's kill that thing before the uh, tokens enter. We still have haste, but... Plays a two drop. Oh, just kills us. Dang! So close! Alright, so... We had a good shot there. Let's see if we can't... Uh, maybe we need to go up some number of, like... Follow the Thran? Um, and that could be a possibility. We're only playing two... Uh, just because we don't want, we don't want one stuck in our hand if we don't have anything else. Uh, okay, so we go turn one on Petal Grove. Uh, turn two Isolated Chapel with our Boreal Grazer. Yep, and that blocks the Storm Tamer, so we're okay there. Uh, so we do this, and then this will give us the extra land to play also. As long as our grazer doesn't get. Uh, okay, so this might be Azorius Flyers. Um, so let's play the grazer. Play that. Play this. Fortunately, all of our lands are tap lands, so that really stinks, but. So let's block here. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, so yeah, so we're we're, we're playing against the Zorius Flyers deck here. Um, so do we? We can cast down the Hanged Executioner, or we can exile a Siren Storm Tamer. And then Kaya takes three. Not sure. Also like the revitalized draw card. Hopefully we hit a land here. So let's just do that. Hopefully we hit a land. We did not hit a land. I think we're dead, everybody. We're playing like 25 lands, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so a Safara. Uh, so this is a problem because Castown can't kill a Safara. Um, and they're all indestructible. Hmm. So if we Kaya here. <laughs> this will be Kaya away this hawk. Probably should Kai away the storm tamer, which I guess is the you same thing. Watch your back from here on. Uh, and then they'll have to attack. That. I mean, so far as a seven-seven, so that really doesn't matter. Fortunately, we have to like Nova Nova again, and I don't think we live long enough for that. Um, yeah, and Safari's just going to attack my face. So let's go ahead and block here. Just for... Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to make myself scarce. So untapped land would be really good. We're going to get it. Um... So let's just cast Leyline. I don't even know if there's a way out of this here. We needed to untap land there because we needed to cleansing Nova and then cleansing Nova the following turn uh, to get rid of the Safara. So seven, eight, nine, ten. And then four is lethal. I guess it's lethal either way. So, 
If they have a counter, they just counter the Nova, I guess. I guess it's, it's probably doubtful that they have a counter, but they save the if they can save the Safara, they're fine. You can bounce, bounce hang executioner back to your hand. Okay. That's fine. Yep, and I guess they'll play the Hanged Executioner. Yeah, attempt to get lethal. Let's play this. Let's play this. Yep. Cool! We might have done it. <laughs> I did not think that that was going to be possible here. So, let's go ahead and play Ashiok here. And play Kaya. Yeah. Target them with Ashiok. We're gonna plus. Uh, get rid of. Yeah, get rid of those. Well, this is fine. We are, have a, a third Kaya here, so. Just you wait. The only problem we have right now is Safara. Uh, so. Hoo hoo! Looks like uh, we squeaked that one out, so I guess it is possible. We didn't follow the Thran though, so I'm a little disappointed. Um, but that did what it was supposed to do. Let's see if we can't get another quick one in here. We were very close, I think, of that second game, and uh, like that last one, like we just ended up with full control so hopefully this one we do the uh relatively the same thing here so all right so we have ritual we can actually shot we go first i don't mind this like we don't have the ley line but we can shop shock temple garden into temple of silence and then we can immediately start off with the ashiok plan uh and just try to start milling them out Let's do this. Put the temple into play. See what we find. There's a planes. Uh, I mean, it's not horrible. Like, it it enables the rest. So, excuse me, one more land and we would have uh, Cleansing Nova. And then two more lands. That, uh, yeah, two more lands after this and we would have the uh, Fall of the Thran. So, and this may be very good here. So, this looks like a reanimator deck. So, we actually really quickly, I think, want to get the, uh, the Ashiok going. Right. Behold. This has so, been a which is reanimator, dredge. Um, I played a deck that, uh, Kind of similar to this here, <laughs> and uh, the Ashiok really just hoses them. So, free wins with Ashiok today. Uh, actually, a free win with the Leyland of the Void. So, I'm going to continue to uh, kind of tweak this. I probably won't ever take this to an FNM, but um, I may try to see if we can't do a little bit here. Um, maybe do a little bit more. Uh, I changed some things. I do like where the premise of the deck is going. So this is kind of a place to start. Um, but uh, I guess leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully, you know, somebody out there has everything that they need for this. And they can kind of play with it a little bit and see if it works out pretty good. Um, I guess. Uh, yeah, sorry. Got on track and started thinking about what we could uh, change there. But uh, I guess until next time, everybody have fun, and uh, we will see you then. Thanks.